Bethany Braun Silva is an author, parenting expert, and podcast host. She joins us now with some New Year's Eve activities parents can do with their kids. Welcome back to the show. Oh, thank you so much. I mean, we were just talking, it yeah. flew, right? Yeah. Like, how is it yeah. New Year's Eve? It's already going? almost 2024. Where did 2023 go? Yeah, unbelievable. So one of the things we know that goes with New Year, those resolutions, a lot of people making resolutions. So how do you make that fun for the kiddos? So something I love to do with both of my boys is actually a New Year's Eve resolution collage, kind of in Aww. the same, you know, idea of a vision board, right? And this is an old fashioned art project. Grab the, the scissors, you know, maybe some construction paper, all the magazines, start cutting, anything that speaks to them, yeah. you know, just throw it on there with some glue. And what I also like to do is hang it up so that they can mm -hmm. refer to it year, I mean, day after day throughout the year. Give them a little bit of inspiration, maybe some focus. If they did have a goal that, you know, they maybe mm -hmm. they need a little help, you just like refocusing and just like remembering that this is, you know, something that they put their mind to and they can definitely achieve it. That's a great mm -hmm. idea. All right, so, so maybe we're biased because we're New Yorkers, but we'd like to think that the best New Year's Eve celebration is right here in Times Square. But by the time midnight rolls around, a lot of the kids <laughs> are sleeping. Let's be honest, they cannot stay up late that late. What, how else can we help them bring in the new year in other I, ways? I honestly can't remember the last time I stayed up by choice, <laughs> right? So midnight rule. I love, if you have young kids, I love a noon year's eve party, oh. right? Countdown till noon. Mm -hmm. And actually there's lots of things that will help you do that. Netflix has built in countdowns and some of their most popular shows. You can, you know, do countdown clock, crafts, things like that. And also something that I love to do, I mean, is pick your favorite European city or yes, country like and it. celebrate with them, Early. right? <laughs> exactly, like they're seven hours ahead. <laughs> celebrate with the Brits. Okay, so you also have an idea, New Year's Eve game night. What do we do there? <laughs> well, I love a tournament style game night. Have everyone in your family pick their favorite game and then, you know, play one by one by one. Maybe you can come up with some cute prizes. Maybe you can do New Year's Eve themed games like New Year's Eve themed charades or maybe a bingo, but I, I love that idea because it's really about you know spending mm -hmm. that last day of the year together, really quality, some quality family bonding time. And, and the onset of a new year can be daunting for many, including kids. How do we get them to look forward to the next year? Well, you know, by setting those goals, right? I mean, so something that I also, I mentioned, I setting those res resolutions with my kids, right? So I, you can do that in a DIY time capsule. Yeah. And these time capsules, they don't have to be opened in 10 years or 15 years. You can open them year by year. I, as a mom, one of my favorite things to do is actually just look back, see how far we've come, right? Look at the pictures from when they were little, but they, the things that they were into even just a year ago. So a DIY capsule is a really great way to do that. I love the idea of celebrating yeah. with the European countries so you can go to bed early. Mm -hmm. Or countdown to noon. That's a good one, too. <laughs> Thank All you, right. Bethany. Thank you so much. Happy New Year. All right. And if for more parenting ideas, you can follow Bethany on Instagram. Her information is right there on your screen.